Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, House Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and this is my son Ben and today we have a look at the Glendronach, 23 years of age, an exclusive bottle for our company. Uh, it's a single cask, it's 712 bottles, it's a Pedro Jimenez cask and uh, well, it's not that cheap, it's cask strength. 54.1 ABV, vintage 1994, bottle 2018. So this is a real gem and I think it's quite pricey. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what we've seen from Glendronach before, uh, we had several other casks. Uh, this is a really a good one or should be a good one. And uh, yeah, there are bottles out on the market with a comparable age, 21 years, something, uh, <clears throat> which should taste uh, similar. Uh, similar. And um, so if you're happy to find one of those bottles, you have to look after the cask in which it matured. There are Pedro Jimenez casks out there, Sautern cask, uh, Sherry casks, and, and, and. Uh, and this one is now a Pedro Jimenez puncheon. Strange that they write Spirit 11. Do they have different spirits at Glendona? Not really. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Probably not. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so it's a. Uh, did you already say 712 mm -hmm. bottles from a puncheon? Yeah. I'm expecting a, a really a, a strong sherry bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. 23 years of age with PX, that's. <laughs> That's gonna be one with this is the dried fruits and cherries, cherries. The Premier League oh, of yeah. the whiskies. Oh yeah, this is so. This is one of these expert whiskies. But a novice will recognize this cast as well. Yeah, so it's it's, it's, it's for a, for a for an expert. You can honor that cask a lot, mm -hmm. but the novice will say. Well, this is whiskey. Never thought that it might be that smooth and yeah, definitely. And, and it, intense. This is one of these whiskeys that you can actually give to a novice or a beginner. Mm -hmm. to, um, but the price is expert. <laughs> yeah, the price is definitely <laughs> expert. <no. laughs> I don't know the price, but two hundred is possible. Yeah. I so always find it amazing how you can can only get these flavors with maturation. And never with any mixing because you can never get anything like that if you just take in alcohol and different fruit syrups and you will never, you will never come at, at uh, this Never point. say never, um, but we will take <laughs> a few decades until we, <laughs> we figure out all those compounds and then you will have this synthetic cheap <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> I don't think you get the maturity. Mm. Yeah, that's the Elliot Watts uh, University in uh, Edinburgh, and there they have one of the very few uh, professorship for distillation, for whiskey mm. distillation, and they are looking after the compounds in the whiskey, and I think they have figured out what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this one is a classic, a hefty sherry cask whiskey. A lot of fruitiness, fresher fruitiness, uh, but as well as some dark fruit, uh, some caramel, and in the back there's a taste of oranges. Not citrus notes, it's orange, it's sweeter. Yeah, I have to add water yeah. to get more it's of a, that. A nice mixture between these old dried fruits like dried apricots a little bit of plums mixed in with fresher fruits and definitely an orange note in there and also you do get some some oak in there some oak oak notes as well so in the meantime i added a little water so one and a half pipette full and now it's lighter and the oranges are more intense yeah, and this is blood orange with a hint of spiciness in the back, probably from the cast. 
but I'm missing the, the dark chocolate notes from a European cherry cask, so this might be a um, cask mm -hmm. out of uh, American white oak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good one. Mm -hmm. mm. It's definitely a cherry bomb. It has definitely apricot, raisins, dried plums. But in the taste, you do have it well balanced with a bit of a, a oak note. But the nice thing about the oak note is that mm, it's not really bitter. It's just really nice, clean oak, American oak. So I swallowed it as well, and uh, there's a spicy, oaky note on my tongue, but the mouth is covered by sherry, oh, a lot of fruit, and apricots, plums, yeah, all of that, and those blood oranges in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I do get a bit of reaching yeah. <laughs> in your picture. I tried before. <laughs> So, mm, this is nice. one of the very, very top, and let's have a look what they say to the tasting notes. So, this time it's black on, on beige, beige yeah. or slightly golden, so it's good contrast. So, it's cask 126, vintage 1994, nose, dried apricot, plum, caramel, biscuit, I didn't have the biscuit, mm. sherry, malt, burnt toast, Burnt toast and orange appearance autumn sunrise. This is a sundowner, <laughs> no sunrise, and I think it's it's more amber. This has this brownish color, yeah. Uh, palette blood orange, grapefruit, oak, chocolate powder, stewed fruit, toast, and lemon curd. So, this is well, quite similar mm. to what we found in it. Really good. Mm. More vanilla, more mm. caramel. So, it, 23 years in a cask, that's a lot. But I don't think that it's a first fill. Might be a used for a finishing period and then filled again. So it could be darker in a full oxidized Pedro Jimenez sherry cask. Mm. It's a it's nice. Mm. I do like it. I, I, I would bet that this one is American oak. Mm -hmm. So it's um, it's really a sherry bomb, but missing the the heavy, intense ending. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's really good it's balanced. Some, some oak in there, but it's still a, a light oak. Yeah. Mm. Oh, <laughs> you gotta keep the sample, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so anything else? Whenever the bottle is full, we sell it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we... And, uh, all so close. this sample is really huge. That's and a 200 milliliters. That's quite uh, a lot. It's, it's more than we need. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. No, not more. Nothing more. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you would like to know more about whiskey, go to whiskey.com and find out all about whiskey. Thanks for watching and see you next time.